All right, let's talk a little bit about styling a form. And rather than going the way I've done, been doing so far, I'm going to talk about being lazy. And instead of doing kind of stepping through and doing our own original design, um, I'm going to follow a recipe, a set of instructions. There's, and I want to enforce the idea that there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, the idea behind this is creating some things that can be reused both by the author and by uh, other users. So um, traditionally, we've talked about this a bit, just like websites were set up with tables as a way of laying them out. Often forms were set up as tables, but they're not tabular data. They're not tables. So it doesn't make sense in the semantic markup in the HTML to mark them up as tables, right? Because they're not tables. Um, so instead, I mean, I guess you could, again, you could stretch here and say that it is a table. It's just a table that has missing elements, right? Um, name could be part of a table, email, maybe. Uh, but it's stretching it, right? So um, instead, we're going to go ahead and use this article from a list apart, which conveniently shows you how to lay out your HTML so that it's semantically correct, and then some um, CSS that works with it. So first, let's take a look at our HTML. Um, in order to make the HTML kind of work, we had some bad things in there before. We had paragraph tags, for example, for things that were not paragraphs. Instead, I'm going to uh, talk about two uh, tags that I didn't introduce there, field set and legend. Field sets are for groups of fields, right? F so when you have a form, often you'll have your uh, billing address as opposed to your delivery address. Each of those would be a, a field set. In this case, we just have one field set, at least one major field set, which is contact. So we have a field set which starts here, and basically we have one field set for this whole form, um, but we could have multiple ones. And then we have a legend for that, which is the contact, okay? Um, and then we have an ordered list, and we have list items. And in each of the list items, we have an item from this field set. So the first one is the customer name, again, with a label, and then the input for the name, a label saying what it's for, and an input for the name for the email. Um, then we have actually a list item that's a field set within the field set. And this is a field set called favorite color because we have multiple options. Oops, we have them both checked, which doesn't make any sense at all. Um, multiple options here, blue and red in this case. But we could have a lot more than that. In this case, we've just done blue and red. Um, then we close out that field set. We have another list item for the state, and this is the, the label, and then a select for the state. And then we close out the field set and have a submit button. Um, uh, so what do we do with this? Well, we steal, um, borrow uh, the CSS from the list apart um, article, and we can basically just take this chunk of CSS that it provides and copy it and bring it over to ours. And in the CSS, go ahead and paste it. Now, um, a couple of things to note here. One is that all of these are applying to a form with the um, with the class of CMX form. So there's one more thing we have to do here. Up in the form itself, we have to say um, class is CMX form. And we'll save that. And then once we do that, if we take a look at our site, absolutely nothing has happened. Let's make sure we did everything right. Class is CMX form. I'm guessing that it's not really CMX form. It's, yes, it is CMX form. Uh, make sure that we've saved both of them. And we'll refresh over here. There we go. I must have just forgotten to save. And so we have the contact in its own box here. And we have these spaced out properly. And we have the favorite color with its own field set that's not in a box. Because if you look in the CSS here, you'll see that there's a section that says field set, field set, and has no border. So all of these things that we're using to kind of style the pieces here are, are properties that we're pretty familiar with. It's just that we've assembled them around the field sets in such a way um, that it lays it out nicely. And we have a nicely laid out um, form. Now, of course, we could play with it some more, make it more graphically interesting. But as it stands, this is a, a pretty solid form without having to deal with tables or anything.